2007 uh, Chrysler 300 SRT8 and this is a car that a lot of people do wonder about because it does wear the SRT badge and um, this car is no slouch it's pretty much a sleeper car that Chrysler makes and um, if you don't know anything about it it is a um, has a 6.1 liter Hemi in it very similar to what you would find in an SRT8 Challenger and for the time that it was made it did make pretty good power uh, compared to what the competition made because I mean if you figure 2007 the Camaro didn't even come back yet and when the Camaro did come back it only made one more horsepower than this and the Mustangs around that time were probably making around 310 maybe horsepower so this thing was probably one of the big daddies of the um, of the like the mid 2000s and um, that 6.1 liter Hemi makes 425 horsepower from the factory and 420 pound-feet of torque um, which is a pretty healthy amount of power considering what this car weighs because it's going to need uh, quite a bit of power to move it around. Uh, weighs a little bit under 4,200 pounds curb weight and um, we're going to get on a little bit here and see how that 425 horsepower feels. Yeah, this thing gets up and goes pretty, pretty, pretty well. Uh, it does have two 245 wide tires on it though, which um, if it is a little bit colder out, might have issues with traction. Um, but in the aftermarket, I'm pretty sure that you could uh, fix that. But yeah, the car does feel pretty well straight out of the factory. Um, this one does have an intake and a throttle body, I believe. And um, it does feel very nice. All right, we're on some twisties now. We're gonna see how this car handles with its big bolt-like so we're gonna get into some corners here, see how it is. That's honestly not that bad. I mean, you do feel the weight when you push it through a corner. You feel the weight behind you, and uh, it's kind of intimidating. But if you have the balls to push it through, it's not that bad. Um, this car is pretty much meant for comfort and speed which is kind of like the best of both worlds if you want to say uh it does have a lot of the power and it's comfortable i mean it has four doors it can carry five people and you get these awesome seats which are practically like lazy boys that you just like recline in it and it's really comfortable and it does also which is very good that chrysler did it has pretty thick bolsters on the side so it is perform has performance oriented seats even though it is a Chrysler 300 they did step up the game and, and they put like nice little SRT badges on the seats Which is also a nice touch to let you know that you're driving something a little more special than a regular 300 And I mean it's comfortable and it's fast. So I mean it's pretty much a best of both worlds car um, uh, For daily driving purposes, it's probably pretty comfortable to daily and you could probably road trip it This seat is just like super comfortable. So I mean road trips are probably no problem in this car and yeah, it just seems like a lot of fun all right so the one downside to this car is it only came in an automatic transmission which isn't really that bad considering what this car was built to do it's built for speed and comfort so having just the automatic transmission isn't really that bad the, the transmission in this car seems very eager to downshift whenever you put your foot in it if you just dip it in a little bit it just downshifted for me and it just seems like it's very eager to do whatever you want like the transmission it's like your brain is connected to it and it will shift when you want it to and we're on a corner oh boy okay that was a little scary but 
you know, it is a heavy car. Uh, and the transmission also does have an, um, a shifting mode where you move the shifter left and right and the car will shift. Right, we're in second gear here and we're gonna floor it and go. And that is fast. That is much faster than my car. And I'm kind of jealous now. I'm kind of a noob when it comes to fast cars. This is the fastest car I've ever driven, I would probably easily say. And I'm having a blast driving this car. And it's just it's just fun. You don't even care that it's heavy and you don't even care that it's an automatic. It's it's a fun car and I absolutely love it. All right, now this review is kind of going to be like a before and after test. Um, my buddy Anthony, who does own the car, does have plans of pro-charging it. So this is going to be kind of a before and after if, um, if and when he does do this pro charger in the summer and um, you guys will get the impressions of what the car was like before and after the pro charger which is probably going to be pretty sick considering the pro charger would probably put this at well over 600 wheel horsepower this thing would probably be beast alright we're merging on the highway here Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this review of this beautiful SRT8 Chrysler 300. Um, I've always wanted to drive one of these, and I really want to thank my friend Anthony for letting me drive it. If you guys want to check this car out on his Instagram, I'll leave it right here. You guys can check it out there. Uh, thanks again so much for watching. I hope you guys had as much fun watching as I had filming this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. I just went for the clutch pedal. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, wait, oh. It's the only downside. Yeah. It just never came in a six-speed. That's one thing, yeah.